All right, welcome YouTube. Commander J Hall back again, playing a new game on app. This is F1 Manager. This is a really cool game if you're into running your own Formula One team. Um, the graphics are really good, pretty amazing. Um, the gameplay is actually very, very addictive. Um, it is a little bit of a pay to win. I did have to drop some cash down in order to uh, stay competitive. Um, if you see down on the bottom, there's the um, there's the uh, I forget what, the, the crates that you win. If you win a race, you, you you earn a crate. And you can see on the left, there's the standard one, this one right here, and that's what it comes with. 19 total assets. And if I wanted to open it quick, I would pay eight of their bucks, and I would just open that, and then it would um, show me, I think it's uh, four or five different things. Over here is a platinum crate. Um, you can see this is series five. I'm already up to series five. Um, the higher you go, the better the uh, crates are. So obviously you want you want to move up as fast as possible. Um... So this is the screen that you come to when you first start, and it asks you what you want. Down the bottom, you can see I'm on my home. I can go to my page, which will list all of my drivers. Um, and here you can see my drivers and what level they are. You can see the drivers I've selected are Daniel Kvyat and Lando Norris. Um, if I select Stroll, you can see all the red, so he's not better than the drivers that I have. If I select Albon, those are the first two you get, is Stroll and Albon. And I've leveled Albon up to level 6. I'm not going to do it anymore because I think it's not going to be worth the return. Um, I got Nico Hulkenberg um, as an epic a long time ago. I think I got the, him on the first day I was playing this. I think I'm on my fourth day. And um, I haven't seen another one of his cards yet. And you can see he's only 2 of 4. And there's a lot of red there. So he's not as good as the drivers I have. Even though he's a rare or epic. Uh, Antonio Giovinazzi. This driver actually was the third driver I got. And his tire management was really high. So I used him and I was able to win a lot of races just using tire management strategy. Which in this game is actually the key. Um, and Kubica. I, I don't know. If one of you guys is using him in the... Uh, leave, a, leave a comment down in the... Um, in the, in the comments, because I I've been afraid to use him because he's not really good at anything other than overtaking. I'm not sure if that equates to his driving speed or not, but maybe you can help me out with that. And sometimes my game locks up. There you go. Uh, I have Kavaya. I got Pierre Gasly, and you can see his um, his stats aren't that good. His tire management is pretty good. If I can get that a little bit higher, I might use him over Kvyat. And Lando Norris, I'm using. And I just got Charles Leclerc. Leclerc? Leclerc, however it's pronounced. And at level 1 rare, he's not that good of a driver. And I just raced somebody with George Russell, and George Russell finished last, so I'm not sure if that means anything. But that's a breakdown of the drivers. Here are the car parts. And this is what I got. Um, I am using the Dreamstream, so I am going to update it. 260,000. That's where the um, pay to win comes in. You can see the cost of the stuff to upgrade it is getting really ridiculous. I think when I first started, it was like, like 5,000 or something like that. It was like really, really low to upgrade it. And now I'm all the way up to 260,000 upgrade apart. Assign that to the car. And there you can see what I'm using. Uh, obviously, I'm using a lot of blue stuff because their levels are really high. And until you get... See this? Like, um, if I were to upgrade this, it's going to upgrade the wrong thing. And I'm going to still lose on those other two. So still, until the, um, the red goes away and it's you know green... I'm not going to swap that part out. I mean, the reliability would be good, but I don't want to lose all that speed and power and, and grip in the turns. 
As you can see, I'm not going to upgrade this anymore because I don't think it's worth the return. I don't think it's ever going to catch up to the parts that I'm using, so no need. Um, this one eventually will pass, I'm sure. But so there's a list. Of, there's a look at all of the the parts that I have and what I'm running. If you guys want to know. And back to the home page, this is the pay to win part. You can buy the drivers, but it doesn't make any sense to buy the drivers because if he's an epic and I pay for him, I'm probably not going to see another card of Daniel Ricardo for a while. So it's going to be a long time before I upgrade him. So I'm not really sure if that's worth the money. Um, when you move up and progress through series, it gives you the option to buy some stuff. And this is what it looks like. Um, so when I first paid, I got, I paid the $50 one, so I got $37.50, and the first thing I got was this one right here, Oops. was the uh, 3.5 million gold, and that gave me the spending money, which now I'm down to 383000 so I'm almost out of that, and I also bought um, one of the S5... Well, it wasn't an S5 Legendary at the time. I think it was an S3 for 1100 So don't waste your money on that. Um, you will need uh, gold coins in order to upgrade your stuff, so you might need to uh, spend some cash on that. Um, obviously, if you're a child, don't do this unless you got your parents okay. Back to the home page. Um, it gives you an option to get some free coins and a free crate. And all you got to do is watch some commercials for games. And this is a reward offer that I already showed you. Here's the crates. I get a free crate every four hours or so, whatever that is. This one is really important, the race crate. Um, so I see people kind of give up on races. And, like, I did it at first, too. I actually, like, forfeited, I think, three races when I first started because the my, my rival, um, my rival qualified, like, really, really high, and I qualified really, really low. And I just figured, well, there's no chance I'm ever going to beat him, so I just forfeit that race. Uh, it's important not to do that because, one, the more races you go through the more chances you get to try different tire strategies and fuel strategies and eventually you'll find the fuel and tire strategy that kind of works for you and will give you the best results but if you forfeit um you lose out on your chance to move up in the ranks so like if you start 22nd and 24th and you forfeit you miss out on the opportunity to to earn yourself some points which will go towards um, this race crate. You can see I have 45 points. That's the last race I just did. I think I finished fourth, first and fourth or something like that. And I got 45 points for that. Um, I might be wrong there. Please don't yell at me if that, you know, if it's not possible for that point total. But, um, you get the, those race points toward, go towards your race crate. And the race crates um, give you really, really good stuff. And I think you get six different items every time you get a race crate. So if you figure out how to, you know, uh, earn 30, 33 or 34 points a race, every three races you get a race crate. And you get to open that one for free. You don't have to wait no time or anything. Um, these ones, when you try and open them, there's a, there's a delivery time that you got to wait which kind of forces you to spend some of your, your bucks. But the race crate, you get to open that one right away. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so, obviously, the big red button in the middle. You guys have been looking at it. That's the race button. But before we get to that, you can come up onto um, your name. You click on your name, and it opens up the team principal screen. And from there, you can go into your livery. And it gives you the option of all of these different um, uh, liveries. And these ones you got to pay for, but these ones you can see they come with like a metallic shine to them. And that gold color looks really nice. That design, not so much. This one looks really nice, but of all of them, that one's probably the favorite. 
not saying it's the silver bullet, but it definitely looks more like the silver bullet than anything else in the game. And, um, you can switch the different colors. So, like, you can go down to this one, and you can select red. And then you can go to this one, and you can select white. Oops, that's not red, is it? That's orange. That's red. And then you can go to this one, and you can select... And I think that's the France colors. I don't know, I could be wrong. Or you can go... Hello. Black. And green. Is that the Jamaican colors? Cool, let's be Jamaican colors for a while. So there's your car, and let's get to a... Oops, sorry. Let's get to a race so I can show you guys. Um... Duels, um, we don't have the option of going into the Grand Prix events. If that's what I think it is. Sorry about that. If that's what I think it is, the Grand Prix events, um, I can't wait to play that. Because I think that's going to be, what, um, ten teams maybe? Where you got two cars each and it's all against um, opponents, not uh, computer control guys. So that will give you an idea of where you really are. But these are the duels. And when you start a duel, when you first start, this is where you, you enter. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find a game because my level is really high. And everybody that high with those many flags, I don't think they want to race for a thousand bucks anymore. So, yeah, I'm not going to get a game. So I have to play one of these ones. So I'm going to do level 5. And I'm going to show you guys a strategy on how to um, how to race. So it's going to look for me for a rival. Sometimes it takes a while. There they found somebody. 330. Normally when it has one of those um, headsets your boy doesn't do too good, but we'll see. I think those headsets are ringers. Okay, Brazil is kind of a short track. So this is going to be kind of a, a, a standard affair. When you get on the longer tracks, you might have to use um, your hard tires, but for the most part, you can see I got one driver that's going to get two to four laps on soft, and I got one driver that's going to get three to four. So, already I know Daniel Kavaya is not as good on tires, so he's going to be the first one that's going to pit. Now, one of the things I like to do is, when you first start, you really can't do anything because all the cars are all jumbled up. So, for the first couple few laps, I just like to run on that nice, easy setting and um, let everybody figure out where they are and what's going on and... These guys are going to tell me they, they need to use more fuel, and I'm going to tell them don't. They love to grumble with me. You will see. So, it's much easier for me to watch it from up here, even though I must say this is amazing. I love watching. You can see the cars handling the bumps and everything. Like, this is just absolutely amazing. You can sit and, and get lost in this. And if you do get lost, you might miss your pit window. So, let's go back to the big screen. You can see we're already on lap two. Lando Norris is almost down to 50%, well, 60%. I'm sorry, um, Daniel Kavaya is down to 60%, and Lando Norris is still at 65 So right now, we're not losing any positions. We're not gaining any positions. We're not really racing. We're conserving our tires, and we are mostly conserving our fuel. So already, he had to pit. We are on lap three, so I am going to bring in Daniel Kvyat for more soft tires. And I like to give them their last lap on that and just speed them up. And as soon as Lando Norris crosses the line, he is going to give me one hot lap. And then I'm going to bring him into the pits. Boom. 
So there goes Lando Norris. Set him on my hot lap. And call him into the pitch for some soft tires. You can see Lando Norris is now in first place. And you can see he's already put in four laps. So we're halfway through this race already. You can see I moved up into first. I have seven laps left of fuel. So as he comes in, I'm going to set him back down to low. And I'm going to have Daniel Kavaya give me one more lap of reserved racing before we go all out. I'm being real conservative with the fuel because I normally like to um, have my guys run out of fuel at the end. Um, I think that's probably the best that you can do as far as fuel management. It means you didn't leave any. So his album went into the pits. Daniel Kvyat takes over the lead, and I'm going to have him pit for the last time. So I am now in first and second. So you guys want to see how it's done. There you go. So right now, all I'm really worried about is the tires, which I'm going to have to bring in Lando Norris for another change. And I'm watching the fuel management as well. I think I'm good. I can, because um, there's only two laps left. I got 3.7 laps and 2.9. Okay, so Daniel Kavaya, I'm going to have to slow him down. He's going to start grumbling about fuel. And let's bring in Lando Norris before I forget. When you put them on fast, they kind of make mistakes. And there's some tracks that you don't want to do that because they can actually wreck. Um, Sochi is the main one. There's, one the, there's a really sharp turn that the guys tend to, to wreck on. All right, dude, slow down. Okay, I am in second and fourth, second and third, sorry. And let's see if he's going to run out of fuel at the end. Nope, we're good. So we finished second and third. Um, he focused on Albon to win the race and didn't really focus on Kvyat. So, with that one spot gap, fourth, not going to him, I am going to beat him by one point. And that's how you do it, guys. I don't know if you saw that. Go real slow at the beginning, and then ramp up the speed the second half of the race, and that's normally what's going to win you that crate. Um, but more importantly are those points. I now won 45 points. I won the 400,000, which puts me up to number four. You can see these guys are ridiculous with 76. I think the lead guy has like 160,000 or 160 million. Something ridiculous. There's my gold crate. And you can see down in that bottom corner, we are now up to 90 points. So in two races, I got 90 points. I'm about to get my race crate next race. If you guys want to see me do that again, you know what? Why not? Just so you guys will see it's not a fluke. And you'll get to see what a race crate will do for you. Because I'm going to get the race crate no matter what. So here we go. Hopefully it is so cheap so you guys can see the tire strategy for the longer courses. Nobody wants any. It gets like this. Okay, here we go. We got a player. Who do we got? Woodson. All right, the silver. Let's go. So we are going to Mexico. This is another short track. So it's going to be pretty much like that last race. Very similar strategy. You probably want to give it three easy laps reserving your fuel and your tires. And set yourself up for a good spot. So you can see I'm going to get three to four laps from both drivers. So one driver is going to come in on a short stop, and the other one's going to come in on the normal one. So whoever, normally whoever, uh, for me, you might want to do it differently, whoever um, qualifies better um, stays out, because it, that normally means that they're better on their tires and stuff. So we are good to go. 
Sorry to Silva for making you wait so long, but I'm going to just get through that. So once again, we are going to select Conserve. And as soon as this race starts, we're going to go to my favorite screen. I love to watch my, my numbered dots. And then you can see how they're all bunched up. Let's go back. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yes, yes, guys. I'm the manager. Just You can see what, how they get all bunched up. So if you try to go fast, you're just going to be wasting it into the back of these cars. So that's why I personally like to go slow. Look at cool runnings. Look at cool runnings. Or is that more like cool drivings? Cool drivings, man! Sorry. Sorry. Bad Jamaican accent. Okay, so we're back to my map. We are now on lap two. You can see he is way back there. Mired in 22nd and 23rd spot. I'm not sure what he's doing back there. But here we come. I got Lando Norris. Getting ready to start lap number three. You can see he's still on 60% tires. 58, sorry. So after two laps, he's at 58. And Daniel Kvyat just finished. So he's going to give me a hot lap and come in and pit. Actually, you know what? We are not going to do that because there is that gap. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Lando Norris speed up. So hopefully we can get like an eight second gap. And now I can just have them come in and pit normally. I mean, I saw Mercedes-Benz do this, and it was sweet. It's like as soon as Hamilton left, Botas pulled in, and it was like, dude, how did they do that? Like, no waste of time. But we'll see. I think I might have a bigger gap here. Okay, so my drivers are going to start asking me to pit, so let's bring them in. Pit soft, pit soft. Oh, this is going to work out perfectly. And now the best part about this is, is look at my fuel. I got 7.39 laps with only 4 laps of racing left. Oh, it didn't work out perfectly. Oh, I stacked them. Oh. I'm sorry, Kavaya. I know you're going to yell at me, dude. And on top of that, your car is busted. Okay, so that's going to slow me down, but we're still good. Because now we have no restrictions on fuel. And we got four laps left. So in two laps, I'm going to bring them in for new tires. And they just get to go out and have fun. <laughs> Sit back and relax. I still like to watch this view because it just gives me a better idea of what's going on where all the other cars are. So we are now on lap six. So we can have them come in. And now that I'm done, now if I want, I can watch. Oh, smoking, smoking. So that kind of gives you away what you're doing if the other player is watching this screen. Um, if they're watching that other screen, I don't think they have an idea of why you're going so fast but if they switch to that screen they'll be able to see what's going on and there you go so we are out in ninth and 13th place and I'm thinking probably fourth and Yeah, maybe 4th and ninth if I'm lucky. Don't stop grumbling about fuel, guys. You got two laps worth of fuel with only one lap to go, so I don't want to hear it. Nope, I think 6th and 10th is what I'm going to get. Nope, 7th and 10th. Huh, interesting. 7th and 10th is what I got, which is fine because I only needed 10 points in order to get my race crate, and the points don't carry over. So it's kind of good. I didn't win 1st and 2nd. 
and he came in in 19th and 20th. You can see one of his tires is completely bald, which really kills your speed. You want to avoid that at all costs. So, manufacturer's points, I was fourth with 33. And there's my winnings, and there's my crate. And there's my money, 8 million. And what up? Oops, sorry, continue. And this is what a race crate looks like. When you first start, you get like a thousand, like 1300, 1700, something like that. Still giving me George Russell points. There's front ring that I don't use. There's Lance Stroll, who I'm not sure I'm going to use anymore. There's these brakes that are very expensive to upgrade. And there's two on the Shredder gearbox. Alright guys, so that is a, I guess a, a strategy tutorial and a game tutorial of F1 Manager, which just came out a few days ago. Um, obviously, uh, obviously I'm a big fan of this game. Uh, the graphics are amazing. The gameplay is very, very um, addictive and rewarding. Um, but it does take some uh, money in order to get the box so that you don't have to wait. You can see all of my boxes are open. So if I race, I can't earn any more of those boxes. Um, any more of the crates. I can only earn points towards the race crate. So that's where, you know, being able to come in and pay the eight to open the crates comes in handy. You can see how much better the race crate is than just the normal crates. Hey, Lance Stroll, almost got level up. And there's Charles Leclerc. I was waiting for that to see how much better he is at level 2. So, let's see. You can see all that red, we do that, and he's only going to get five fuel management and two wet weather ability for 184,000. Um, when I first got these guys, their stats were not that good. You can see level six, so I got to spend how many levels to get Charles Leclerc up to uh, passable. But I guess that's why this is one of the most expensive sports in the world. All right, guys. So that is F1 Manager. That's my tutorial. There's my hints, my cheats. Um, yeah, if you like it, give me likes, uh, comments down below. Um, I guess you could subscribe. I don't really download that stuff that much stuff that often. But if I see a lot of comments, maybe I'll start doing more of these videos. All right, this is uh, Commander Jay Hall signing out.